1537, when the troops of Gonzalo Jimenez de Quesada occupied Sogamoso and the neighboring towns, Cacique Topaga resisted the Spanish who tried to seize his lands. The name Topaga comes from the Muisca words to, meaning dog, pa, meaning proper name, and ga, servant of the sun and the devil. The town's Hispanic foundation was carried out by the Corregidor Alvaro de Leva in 1593. The Jesuit fathers built the Temple of Topaga in 1632 by order of the illustrious Jesus del Carbon. This church is one of the main attractions of the municipality. At the end of 1781, a large number of inhabitants of Topaga joined the Comunero movement in support of Francisco Berbeo against the Spanish authorities. On July 11, 1819, in Las Peñas or Molinos de Topaga, the battle took place that was decisive so that later in the Pantano de Vargas and the Boyaca Bridge, the Patriot Army inflicted the final blow in their defeat of Spain. The main park, called Once de Julio or July 11th, commemorates the Battle of Los Molinos in 1819. The park was built in 1975. The patron saint of the town is San Judas Tadeo, whose festivities are celebrated in February and October. In July, the Cachanga festival is held, in homage to the cotes that its inhabitants make. There are also crafts made in sheep's wool, in December, the Topagense Aguinaldo is held. Topaga is a mining municipality, internationally recognized for the charcoal carvings made by the children and young people of the municipality. The image of Satan, with horns and breathing fire through its mouth, watches from above those who enter the temple of this mining municipality. It is a wooden figure that dates back to 1632 and that is located at the top of the Toral Arc, a support on which the structure of the temple's roof is supported. Next to and next to the image of Satan are two angels. The three figures are made of wood with gold leaf. The Elizabethan Gothic temple was declared a national monument in 1965. The church has religious artworks by Gregorio Vazquez and the Spanish artist Tomas Roldan. It became popular in Colombia because it was the presentation image of the television series The Sins of Ines de Hinojosa. The locals claim that it was installed by the Jesuit priests who built the temple in 1632, with the purpose of teaching indigenous people to understand the concept of good and evil. Others affirm that the purpose was to force the natives to raise their eyes before the main altar of the temple, where the image of Christ is. Others say that as the indigenous people worshipped figures like the bull, the Jesuits turned to the image of the devil so that through the horns, they would assimilate it and allow themselves to be evangelized.
According to the parish priest of the municipality, Marco Antonio Coqueta, the devil was placed there because the Spaniards at that time brought various gods, some evil and some good. The evil one, the devil, was to scare them, and the good one, God, was to save them. The devil of Topaga is gagged to symbolize that the devil is bound in the house of God, he says. The Spaniards installed an altar with mirrors in the church to attract the indigenous people. With this, they managed to get their attention, but they couldn't get them to look at the image of Christ on the main altar, says Pedro, an elder from Topaga. Father Marco Antonio Coqueta says that some parents threaten their children with the devil of the temple so that they behave well at home and at school, but that when the boys grow up, they lose their fear when they learn the true story. However, the most astonished are the outsiders who do not understand or are even frightened when they see such an image on the heights of the church. However, it has become a tourist attraction. Although he does not exactly blame it on the devil, the priest of Topaga complains because criminals have taken several old works from the church. He says because it is a national monument, we cannot intervene. Two years ago, we have been negotiating with the Ministry of Culture that they let us paint the temple or that they do maintenance on it, but we have not received a positive response from the government. However, in the restoration, it does not cross his mind to remove the devil, because despite fears and legends, he is a part of the town's history. I hope you've enjoyed this tour in history of the town of Topaga, one of the many towns that I got to visit in the department of Boyacá. I also got to have many adventures, hiking many of the mountains surrounding the towns in this beautiful department, as well as a longer documentary video I made of the Muisca people, the indigenous people that were here before the Spanish Inquisition. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and or leave a comment letting me know what you thought about the video. Like I mentioned, there are a lot more videos of Boyacá that I've made that you can find in the description below this video. There's also a link to another playlist of the time that I bicycled through Colombia, which is part of a larger trip bicycling through Latin America. I've also bicycled through Eastern Africa and Central and Eastern Europe, and I have playlists for all those countries that I've bicycled through available on this very same YouTube channel, Hum of the Earth. Alternatively, if you'd like to see an interactive map of everywhere that I went and everything that I got to see and do, I have that map available over on my website, followthehumoftheearth.com. Where you can click on the different locations and see the various blog posts and videos that I've made of those places. And if you'd like to follow my continuing adventures through Colombia and beyond, you can do so by clicking on the red subscribe button and clicking on the bell to be notified when new videos come out. All right, so that's gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.